<laughs> he was itching to ring that bell this morning. <laughs> Come on in the house. Dinner time. That's the dinner bell. Yeah. Come on, Brother Joe. Let's hit it. Dinner time. Come on in the house. Now you're stirring your dog up. Good morning, Joe's the early bird. Every time I he, hit that bell, the dog jumps. He was hungry this morning. Joe, you were the first one here, and Marie was the second runner up, and Diane was the third one in place. And here you guys come early and ready. I am so well, glad you We here. are ready to uh, I am I am Tony Sawyer, Antoinette Sawyer, and this is my husband. Who are you? I'm Pudding. Come on now, because if it's my new name people is, on here, they my need name to know is, who you my are. My name is Pudding Tane. I play the same. Oh, same God. old game. My oh, name is Sawyer. Lord, Lord, Sawyer. Clifton Sawyer. Is if, you're, if you're new, this is my husband, Clifton Sawyer. No, it ain't. Did you marry me or I married you? I hope it was both ways. Uh-uh. You married me. Please calm down. I can't. I can't take it. I can't. All right. Morgan. We've got to speak to a bunch of people. Hey, James D. and Judy Ju. Good morning. Good morning, Dee Dee and George. Good morning, Morgan. Glad you're here this morning. Hey, Tamara. Hey, Tamara down in South Carolina. Tamara Lee. Tamara Lee. Adele says she's sending love for Gary Lee. Good morning, Tamara. 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 Good morning, yeah, yeah. It might be to get you to go and get you going, get you together. Yeah, that's true. Brick that's and true. mortar. Yeah. Well, we have a good time too. Hey, good morning, Apostle Norman. Glad Norman you're here J. this Hickbar. morning. Yes. Glad you guys are here with us this morning. Dion Moore Hickbar. Judy Hill Hickbar. All you Hickbars on that day. You're going to be over the top, I can tell. I can tell it too, baby. I can tell. Uh, okay, what we're doing today? Are you gonna do something? We today? are going to continue the, the 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 bloodline of awakening the mystical consciousness. Okay, we're gonna talk about awakening the mystical consciousness. That's that's great. Now you know you got something special. <laughs> go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna go. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> In my investigation, here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. Let you guys on a secret. You can have to calm down just a little because if you don't, the dog's going to get excited. And okay. then I've got to control her. Yeah, you'll be all right. Okay. The more I spend time alone in the secret place, which I call my secret place in the house, nobody's there but us. When somebody sent me a request for affirming something about, they call it prayer, and they won't me to talk to myself, which is the Lord talking to you now, but it sounds like Sawyer. I go in this place and I notice that over a period of years that when I come out, there's a power that works with us. Mm -hmm. But when I first started doing this, I discovered power, but I didn't know that there was two sides to it, maybe more than that, but just these two. One of them has to do with a pushing, forceful, moving power. Like, for instance, if a policeman was standing out in the street and he wanted to stop the car, he wouldn't use his physical body to force. stop it. He wouldn't, he use, wouldn't force. use force. Mm -hmm. He would use his authority, his but presence. Isn't it, isn't it interesting? They call it the police force. Yeah, police force. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. he, but it's really the police authority. Yep. Yeah. That is really him operating out of a, a – okay – he un he unravels in traffic the ability of the mystical side of his office okay. and its ability to use the presence of his suit. Now, if he stood out there in the regular clothes, that presence on them clothes would not verify him right. as a mystical secret. Right. His secret is his clothes. Is what he wears. And his badge. And his badge. His, his That's badge. the reason why, and his hat, whatever. That's yeah. the reason why they say uh, uh, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come. What that really means is that 
you do already have, and you are the power, but you don't know it. So it seems like it has words, to come. And in, go. Other, in other words, we're wearing the clothes, but we don't know it. Be in do with power from how mean to be clothed. We, we, we're, we're wearing the clothes. We have the badge. We just don't know. In first person tense. We don't that's know right. our own authority. That's right. Yes. So what they do is they teach him by school and by recognition of his authority. That's the law for him. Yeah, that's true. Now we're talking about some good stuff today. Now, if you are a chef, see some people when I wear my hats that I make manually make them. And you're not wearing and, a cap today. No, no, I'm just just clean as Joe Bill Turkey. Um, <laughs> if I wear my white uh, cap that I made when I go in the restaurant, they people think I'm a chef. Yeah. Because I'm wearing the clothing, the endurance. Right. And I have to tell you guys, he's been feeling so bad with his back. Oh Lord, yes. And. All day yesterday and all day last week for two oh, months. This, this week and for two months. Today is the first day in a in a while that he's actually felt good. Yep. Now sci so sciatic. He's he's a little over the top this morning. My sciatic key <laughs> went haywire, and I woke up one morning just ugly. And ugly tried to grab me in my back. Yeah. And I had to ugly did grab me in my back. I had to beat ugly. So but, I, but I have to remember. Yeah. You remember they prayed for you last Sunday. They did. Y'all did. Tuesday night. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. yes, you did. Yes, you did. So it worked. Wow. It worked. Wow. And pretty yes, soon it's gonna be a hundred percent. But this is why he's so over the top. Yeah. He's just happy he's not hurting today. And I'm, happy I'm, that he doesn't feel bad. When I go to the doctor Tuesday, I'm gonna go in there walking like a broke neck chicken in the meat house with a stick in my hand, and I'm gonna wobble in there, and he's gonna give me a good report. Then I'm gonna jump up on my feet and say, Oh, thank you, doc. I, you did it, you did it. I'm gonna give him the power to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So wearing the clothes. Now we are wearing the clothes. When I go see my doctor, he will come in now and he is very serious. Yeah, now what is it that little it has a lot to do with the mystical consciousness and being endued and clothed in his business. So he tells you what he knows from a physical standpoint. We are here to tell everybody that aspect, from the aspect of the physical and the spirit, the invisible and visible, that the key to this thing is you finding out the truth mm -hmm. of your mystical identity, exactly. your eternal yeah. self. Yeah. The eternal self, watch this now. When the eternal self leaves the body in the illusion called death, separation, the eternal self leaves the body and the body stop. Right. As long as you, the eternal self, is in the body, it moves. When the eternal self begins to lessen its function with different limbs and different episodes, apparatuses of the body, the body of that section ceases to move. A lot of people, when they get a leg cut off, or we have one of our members had to have one of his uh, legs or feet amputated, and he said he still felt like the leg was still there, and it's called a phantom body. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That phantom body is the spirit body and it does have substance to it. In the 16th chapter of Luke, the Bible talks about the rich man and Lazarus, and that when they left their bodies, they still had feeling and could be an expression, and they were just as much tangible as the physical body was. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been over there and on the other side, and I've had a chance to see paper and books in the image of the spirit side, and I wanted to bring back, I, I grabbed a hold to a piece of the paper over there like this, and I said, I'm going to bring this back with me. I said, I'm going to take it with me. But the closer I got to consciousness coming over here, the paper dissolved in my hand. Mm -hmm. What I want to do and what people that find out is how to instantly bring into the physical senses the manifestation of spirit. That's exactly what we've done in the dream. Right. We are, we are the dreamer creating everything that happens to us in this world. Well, let, I just recently started to understand a little more about dreaming the dream. 
there is only one dreamer mm -hmm. and it's dreaming that it's many of us. Yes. Um, and that dream. Oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah, it's just dreaming that it's many of us. Mm -hmm. But there is only one of us. Um, so there's only one son. Yep. And the dream of being many of us. Yep. Is just the drama that it is experiencing and yep. enjoying. Yep. Enjoying. And you know what? I dream. See, that was a dream. Let me tell you something. Before you become aware of what we're talking about and been talking about for months, years, 50 some years we've been talking about this stuff. It mm -hmm. seems like it's new every time you say the same thing over again. I had deep down inside of me, my subconscious, superconscious self, or you might say the father stage. Okay. I had a dream unconsciously of seeing you. Okay. And finally, yeah, I mean, I wasn't aware of it oh, on okay. a certain level. Okay. And then when I got, look at you looking at me like that. And then <laughs> then when I got to see her for for the first time, I didn't know when I saw her as, as we little kids in the neighborhood that I would eventually, at the age of 20, 22, see her again. And lo and behold, as Pastor Norman say, <laughs> I met this girl and she <laughs> zizzed my wheel. And that was the information that was downloaded from eternity that I would meet her and I did. Now, hold on to that because there are a lot of things that you by default and by deliberate creation, it's time for you to get a hold of this creation ability. Glory be to God. <laughs> and make it work for your good. Sure. All things work together for your good who are in Christ Jesus. Let's turn it, let's turn it around. All things. Let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. <laughs> All things work together for your good when you make it work for your good. I don't know if we can take you feeling good today. Ah, uh, shucks <laughs> now. I got, my, I got my two guns ready, an axe and a 25, <laughs> two 25s on my side. I'm ready to shoot blanks, bullets, and the real thing. Don't mess with me because you're going to have to get out of time for sundown. There's a whole lot of stuff going on around here today. And Brad, Pastor Norman, you better hold your underwear, put them up over your knee. You know, I told somebody, I said, if I get in an airplane and get ready to crash, I said, I know what I can do to save everybody. Tell them to take your underwear and pull them over your head and oh use it for parachutes when you God. come back down. And when you hit that, that rubber band on your underwear, mm -hmm. it'll bounce you off on your feet. That, though, that's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait before you move on. Okay, because you just you in high gear. I want to read this. Can yeah, go I read ahead. This? Go ahead on help yourself, darling pie. Yes, they they're saying they love it and that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm they glad. Lauren, I'm they glad. Lauren. She says all things work for your good when you work with it too. You yes. you don't. I, I'm gonna have to tell the boss man to give you a raise. All right, I'm gonna read something. Okay, mm -hmm. and right. I want you to gear down for just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna cool this. All right. It was difficult for anyone to see Jesus in his true being. Only Peter recognized him as the Christ. So you too will keep looking at a person and saying, there is James, John, or Elizabeth, until one day you will look through that appearance mm -hmm. and say, no, there is the Christ. Every practitioner or teacher looks at the human appearance and rejects it. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You are not James, John, or Elizabeth. You are the Christ. I do not see that with my eyes. I see it with my inner eye. I recognize you, and I salute the Christ of God. Mm, salute the Christ of God. Mm -hmm. I salute to all of you out there, to the Christ of God and every one of you. I salute to you out there, everyone. I recognize who I'm talking to. I finally found out how to see the real Jesus, the real Christ. 
And I am talking to the real Christ on this broadcast today. Now, I want you to repeat after me because I'm going to tell them to repeat after me. Really? You want me yes, to? I want you, you to gonna, repeat. You gonna put me later. I want you to repeat mm -hmm. after me, okay? Because if not, you're going to be doing something wild over there. Okay. So would you please repeat after me as you guys repeat after me? As you guys repeat after me. All right. All I right. am hid with Christ in God. I am hid with Christ in God in you. I am invisible to the world. I'm invisible to the world, but you can see who we are. That is why the weapons of the world cannot touch me. The weapons of this world cannot touch me. Because I am not in the world. I am not in the world. I am invisible. I am invisible. But those that are of God can see the invisible. That's your gift. Mm -hmm. Your gift of seeing is the ability to see the invisible. Yes. Make it physical. When I get in the garage and I get ready to make a toy or a pair of pants, I don't use, I use measurements sometimes when they come down to putting the, uh, measuring the distance of a, uh, a, a pocket from the, the, the waistband. Mm -hmm. But then when I get ready to sew a long line, I make the, a, the initial measurement by insight, into intuition. When I get ready to make a toe out of wood, I just look at in my inner self what I want. Mm -hmm. I developed this when I was a little boy uh, in Winston, when I used to see them making the expressway past my house. I used to watch the bulldozers, the tractors, and the tractor trailers, and the dumping part of the trucks. And one day I decided to go over there and deliberately get underneath the one while they were sitting there on the weekend. I had a chance to look at the big tires on the earth movers. Yeah. And I had a chance to, I didn't, I don't know, I may have gotten up in the seat, but uh, some of the bulldozer guys would let me get up in the seat and sit there. I did the same thing with trains. Finally, that that I saw uh, subjected itself to me, it yielded itself to me because it was ready because I made some steps to get to the place where I could actually identify with it mm -hmm. through touch mm -hmm. and feeling. Mm -hmm. When I went back to the wood, I sat there or I started moving a piece of wood. I kept moving it. And at that time, I didn't have anything but a, a handsaw, a hammer, and old rusty nails. But I had a lot of wood because I was raised up in a wood yard. Mm -hmm. And I decided to take the wood. If I had a piece of wood that was crooked, I sanded. it. You know what I sand my, my wood with? A brick. I used a rock or a piece or a cement block, red block. Yeah. And because of its roughness, I would sand the wood down. If I wanted the wood to be uh, real soft, real, real smooth, mm -hmm. I would get a, a rock that didn't release as much dust. dust. And I would sand it down and put it in water. One time I did take a piece of wood and put it in water and let it soak and start bending it. Okay. I did all of this by insight. And as the years went by, I developed insight to make anything that I want to. My uncle made a shed. His had a flat roof on it. But I saw some houses that had A-frames on it. So I decided to come up with an idea. And the idea was to make an A roof on a plate house. Here's another one. My uncle used to tear down old houses in the neighborhood and around. And I, I noticed that the rafters, when we got up to that part of the rafters, we uh, I had a chance to look at the real two by fours. The real two by fours is much thicker than the ones that they make now. The ones they make now is out of real fiber wood, but these two by fours were made out of real oak wood. And the wood would stay up there in the attic so long on the house that it turned almost petrified to yellow sawdust when you saw it. Yellow? Yellow. Yellow. Yellow, yellow. yellow. <laughs> How you say it? Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Hello, yellow. It's yellow. You be do be do. Okay. So anyway, uh, when I made the toys, I would go around 
if you know, I ain't I'm gonna tell you the truth. If I'm playing with some of the kids and they had a toy, I asked them, Can I have it? And knowing that the kid, they want to always say, Yeah. And I said, can, can, you, can I take this home with me? They said, Yeah, I'll take the thing home. Before I know it, their mom and dad and come up and got that toy. I said, You don't took his toy home. I said, Well, he told me I could have it. But they they bought it. They he can he can do that, but he did. But anyway, I looked for old wheels. Until I finally found a certain type of wheel that would work to make it look like the real truck, I duplicated everything by image and 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 these images that I developed. I did not know that when I got up to where I am now, seeing in the spirit, visualizing things in true awareness of consciousness, I used the same thing to make things come true in the spirit world in the physical okay mm -hmm. you got some more to read i do but i'm going to be on the same yeah track well as you. okay well you go ahead i can i can work anything you know i can jump back over your side so you why did you tell us all about that creative process because i want you guys to understand that that is the key to assessing the mystical consciousness and we've been doing it all along so when i was in school they used to ask me to draw the uh, the boards, the, what they call these boards, are in the hall. Where they bring in, this, in, the, in elementary school. We had to draw. Somebody had to come up with a a, a, a picture. The bulletin board. The bulletin board in the hall had pictures, and yeah, so yeah. they they let me draw us the pictures out there, which means I didn't have to be in the classroom to do what the other students did, you know. Mm, okay. But I did all the drawing, and I was set up in the class. And when I when I saw a girl in that that I was uh, admired and liked. I draw a picture of it and then hand it to them. Uh, some of the girls still ask about me now because uh, uh, they remember the picture, you know. And then if I really like the girl, then I go home with her and take her books, but they wouldn't let me in the house. But anyway, that's good enough. Uh, so this is what I did. And I'm telling you guys that over practice of years practicing, I made and created trains out in the yard. And my wife and my sister-in-law used to ride them. They was real wooden trains that looked like the real diesels. Pretty soon, I would take my trains up to the, the uh, classification yard of Norfolk and Southern, and the engineers and the people would see my train on the back of, of my pickup truck. Now, I was grown then. But then one day, a guy came along as a switch in one of the uh, GP7's engines, and a diesel engine, and he motioned to me, an engineer in Norfolk and Western, and come on up on in the cab. And that was really a treat. And I had never been in one, and I had a chance to go up inside the cab and watch it work. These things left an imprint on me. What we're doing now, what God, your God identity is doing, is imprinting you. He has imprinted you from day one. And he's asking you now, Take that that you have imprinted yourself with that is good for you, that is good for others, and use it to bring edification, exhortation, and comfort. Edification means you are brought yourself to a place where you can use the foundation of your informing nation mm -hmm. for your advantage to move in on the areas of your life of the mystical self. Lori says she's on the cusp of the creative process. And I was watching a, a spiritual teacher the other day, and I got a real, I got clarity about something. Uh, doing these online sessions, I've had to do quite a bit of technical work, and you know how I've been doing it. A lot mm -hmm. of times I'm on the computer for hours. Uh, and, and then I've got this... Uh, thing in my mind, like, okay, what happens if something happens to him and how am I going to continue and vice versa? Mm -hmm. And what would we, what should we do in the future in the event that there is no, no, not ever another brick and mortar in our future. Mm -hmm. And so all of that is kind of pressuring in on what my thinking at this point, not frustration, just, just mm -hmm. at the forefront mm -hmm. of my thinking. And so, but when I was listening to uh, the spiritual teacher the other other day, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I got clarity because he said that when we're in that creative process, mm -hmm. uh, it's not so much that we're moving to achieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
so it's not like you're in this rat race to make something happen to mm -hmm, succeed mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. to oh, achieve good. something but mm -hmm. you're actually in a place when you're awake mm -hmm. of expression expression mm -hmm. so it is all about being motivated to express mm -hmm. not motivated to achieve and so that helped me because now i realize that whatever i do whatever we do would be because of the expression that we want we want to express and mm -hmm. i remember the where it says we are the express image of christ mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the the expression is is what drove you to do the woodwork mm -hmm. and drove you to do the trains and mm -hmm. all of the things mm -hmm. that you do now so mm -hmm. it's it's wanting to have that expression or or to just get it out that creative expression so it's not about trying to reach some plateau mm -hmm. and i think in this in the world that we're in today a lot of us are trying hard to reach a plateau mm -hmm, trying mm -hmm. hard to reach a level of success uh of notoriety or of fame of of money and wealth mm -hmm. but but when you when your life is focused on just expression mm -hmm. it's it doesn't have anything to do with uh trying to achieve and okay. so that that helps me a whole lot that helped me a lot. One time I was in a, a, a session in in a place, Danville, Virginia, and I was speaking, a guest speaker in a, a church, mm -hmm. brick and mortar, mm -hmm. and uh, I had carpal tunnel surgery. But I looked at an audition, there was a lady there that had knee surgery. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they go in and they do all kinds of cutting and stuff. But what I did, I decided to do what I heard an old evangelist say, really? preacher say, uh -huh. and uh, he said on the stage, I went to so many services and I watched him, and he would say, I see, I see, I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. So I decided to use that in connection with the hookup of my infinite self. <laughs> I said to the lady, I see in your kneecap the bones going in place, mm -hmm. And then, and I'll tell you, here's another secret. When well, you well, say. Before you jump to another mm -hmm. secret, hold it's, on. It's all can you hold, it's can all hold on. Okay, go ahead. Because when you say, I see, you're actually not so much trying to create it there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but allowing the allowing your mind to hear that you already know it is there. Yes, yes. Okay. Now I've got, I've become a little more technical with it in the sense that. Uh, the, the book says uh, don't do anything sudden or hastily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so what I do now, I look at the people and I can tell by the energy and the programming whether I can do this now or later by reading their contracts. Everybody's contract is in the energy field around them. And I'm glad you said that. And we've got some great comments, mm -hmm. but I'm glad you said that because wow. we are right now everything we're supposed to be mm -hmm. and, 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 and the place that mm -hmm. we're supposed to be. And But that's hard for the mind to accept. But mm -hmm. that is actually absolutely true. You are absolutely in the place that you're supposed to be and you're as you should be. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, now you doing this on a spontaneous first, second nature, I mean, not first nature mm -hmm. basis mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. I think I cook some pork chops. Yeah, and where does that thought come from? I it just, just saw it. it just arises. So what you gonna so do? It's a, it's a spontaneous expression. There you go. Yeah. I uh, I make out a list. Now remember this. Here's a key. When you make out a list a grocery list of what you need at the store or the drugstore. Mm -hmm. Do you know that God threw in and by you as your eternal true identity is actually a sonographer in your hand when you write this <laughs> down? Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. <laughs> is writing through your hand that list. I can feel it. I can see it. I can feel it. I can yes, smell yes, it. Yes, I can yes. taste it. 
and all that you're writing there, God is saying, I need some paper. I need some towels. I need mm -hmm. some pork chop. Mm -hmm. I need some, <laughs> some uh, milk. Mm -hmm. I need some corn for you. God is doing that through you, but see, but and it's just in a spontaneous yes, expression. Yes, you ain't asking nobody, you ain't praying about right. it, you ain't you ain't waiting for an angel to come. Right. Everything is right there, everything is right there. So mm -hmm. I'll give you an example of yes, what sir. I mean. The uh expression versus achieving. I'm gonna say it like that. When uh, for several years now, we, mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. conversation has been we want to lose weight. Yeah, we've been thinking about that, we've been trying to do it, and it's, it's not easy. So, anyway, yes, yesterday mm -hmm. while I was walking, I had a, an epiphany. Mm -hmm. Clarity arose again, mm -hmm. wisdom arose again. So I realized that what I really want is right. not to lose weight. Mm -hmm. What I really want is to be slim and healthy. So now, if, and even though you won't eat. Well, yeah, but, yeah, I, but you don't, don't miss my point. My yeah, point, point is, point. my point is, I want to be. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose. I want to be. I want mm -hmm. to be slim and healthy. So now, my focus is not on losing weight. There you go. It's on being slim and healthy. Okay. You're gonna use this, but Marlon, is that what he said? Is that what Marlon was? said? So don't don't see your limited, be your unlimited. He, Marlon, here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the key to this. I want you guys to be able to see the limited and unlimited at the same time, or whenever you're ready, mm -hmm. but not allow it to interfere with your moving forward. To making something good yeah, take place. Yeah, See, because this, this, because because uh -huh. you are that that sees the limited. Yes, and the yes. See, see, see. Most people want to get rid of something so they can get something else. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm bringing it to you like what I found out unraveling this thing. You can have a good picture. Like some people got to go around confessing positive confession, positive confession. Yes, yes. I want you to be able to do this with or without a confession. Even in the face of that, this yes, negative, that's yes, negative yes, because yes, yes. it is you, the pure awareness that sees the negative and the positive. I you are neither. I don't want you to be a liar or deceiver, but at the same time, if you are that, you should still be able to operate in the truth part of you that is ready. See, you're always on go. I, I heard uh, Mr. Uh, well, I can't call no name, but it was a certain man I know in a big business here in, in Kernersville. He said, God has never said no. And I believe that. And your subconscious yes. mind never, your superconscious mind never, ever never say no. no. Now, I think that's right. I think that's right. Okie yeah. dokie. I really yes. do. I really yes. do. Now, now, you guys are catching on. You've been done caught on. Do you know that's the way your mom and daddy brought you into the world? So now I want to give another example of expression versus achieving on a, on God, a very pra practical level. I've also been focused on getting out of debt. So yes, that's been yes. our fo my focus yes. since when the pandemic struck. Getting out of debt. And I've been pretty good at it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I yeah. realize now that it isn't getting out of debt that I want. What I want is to be free financially. I just had an insight What's that? about you. I noticed that when I saw you, what it was that got my attention. You and it, make, wait, wait, are wait, you no, going to make no, this no, about no, me? No, no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show them something. Okay. I didn't know that attraction to something or some, or, or, let's say for instance to you, it was your essence that was revealing itself to me that appealed to my essence, which was the same essence. Okay. If the same spirit dwelt in you that dwelt in Jesus, that raised him from the dead, the same spirit shall quicken you. That means that if the same essence is in you, essence is in you, and the same essence is in God, and the same essence is God, 
you can do what God did. And every time you do what God did, you're doing what you really intend to do from your true identity. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. okay. I can uh, feel my knees so, jumping so, up down. So what I'm beginning to realize is that I have been anti Everything anti. I've been I've been mm -hmm. anti everything mm -hmm. and and but now I realize to be doesn't require you to you don't have to be anti now, there now, there is no anti the in the being this that's key. there is no anti in being somebody this. said if I could just quiet my mind mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. get over into that place so what you do you go in the closet or you go to your prayer time and you try with effort mm -hmm. to silence the mind mm -hmm. and the more you try to do it the worse you, it gets because you're anti on a practical yeah, level you go. I don't want to quiet my mind mm -hmm. I want to be still so it's all about what I really really want is it being or is it anti Mm -hmm. something against what okay. is. And so I'm be I'm beginning to see the difference. Uh, Sunette said that she says allowing all aspects, but not that let it inter not to let it interfere with you expressing yourself and moving on. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. You can sit there all day long and never say a word. I've been investigating into this stillness speaking. Uh oh, I did it. I let the cat out the bag. Did. Yes, <laughs> you can sit there all day long with all the noise. Uh huh. You're not the noise maker. Exactly. You are the one that's yeah. observing with your middle ear. And you're not the one who the wants sound. You're not the one who wants to silence the noise. No, because you are just like witnessing the noise. That's it. You're not the one that wants to silence, silence the, the noise. noise. That's good. Yes. That's good. That's good. I'm right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, I, that'll bake your cake. Yeah, it will. Mm -hmm. But we've been living anti in a lot of areas. I'm beginning to realize that. Glory be to God. And so what is it I really want is when I, I'm asking that question of myself. What is it that I really want to be? Mm -hmm. And when I ask that question, it changes my focus. And I'm like, for instance, uh, it's, let's just say if you're sick, you have a, a, a sickness or a problem physically. Mm-hmm. We might say, I want to get rid of this disease. Mm -hmm. That's anti, mm -hmm. trying to get rid of. But in actuality, I want to be healthy. Okay. So my focus is totally different. Yes. I'm focusing on that that can yes. be and is already. Yes. I look at you sitting here on the computer. I've watched you for 52 years. I don't care what has happened to you. I don't, I, and I'm gonna say it to you right now in your face. This is sure <laughs> side of my face. I'm gonna talk to you in the front, back, side, and top. I have <laughs> not seen any change in your essence. Yeah, you've said that a lot. I don't know what that. Actually I feel means, and see, even though when we have a disagreement <laughs> to the point of we don't, it don't even be a war. We make one. That essence is still there. Yeah, and I, days, you know, you know what? Some days we want a war, don't we? Yeah, because it can be so peaceful, it gets really. You boring. know, you know what? <laughs> I have actually seen you and watch you. You always said, uh, "I was always looking at you." When I come to see you, when we dating, you come to the door, and I go in your house and sit down. And you walk back in the kitchen, I'd be looking at you. I'm looking at you from all angles, but I didn't know I was doing that. When I would see you uh, in the car and I come back to the car, I'd be looking at you. Mm -hmm. When I look, you, you don't know it, but when you over there sleep at night. You watch me. I'd be looking at you. I watch you too. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I ain't seen you. Yeah, I watch you. I, uh, what, what, what you're I, very active in your sleep. What I say, baby? <laughs> What did I say? You didn't tell it. You didn't tell it. You, you see, you look at you doing it now. You're doing it now. Come on. I ain't somewhere. seen nobody. I haven't seen anybody yet that had the essence. I mean, some people, they, they don't understand. You know, when people irritate you, that is not their essence doing that. 
and it's not your essence that's irritated. Being irritated. I mean, irritated. <laughs> mir mir irritated. Yeah, I, I meant to say that. That's not you mirroring yourself as a projection. Irritated. Yes. I like that. Mirritated. Some of us are mirritated. Do you know in the Old <laughs> Testament when that priest went from the outer court to the inner court to the Holy of Holies, that was an image of him being reflected on mirrors? He had to learn what mirror taking himself was, <laughs> a reflection on the screen, yeah. on the mirror. Yeah. And he had to not allow that reflection of his mirritation to interfere okay. with his okay. transmutation okay. Okay. in his investigation. Okay, come back. Well, baby, I'm just, come back. I'm just. Come back. Just thank you for spreading yeah. my back. Mirritation. Yeah, mirritation. That's a new word. Yeah, yeah. mirritated. He's yeah. a mirritator. Mirritated. When we get through it. Um, Norman says he's going to add that to his vocabulary. Move, 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 Mirritated. Well, you know, mystics make up words, Norman. They they call it locution. And oh, that's, an that's an actual word. So you're trying to use them big that's, words on me now. That's an actual word. Now I'm going to tell it. Mystics try to find now words. I'm tell it. Wait a minute now. Mystics try to find words for what they see and it's, are discovered and expressing, and they don't have the English words or the, the words in their language, so they make up a word. Okay. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> Hot dog, girl and boys, we're doing a... We're doing a good deal. Like now, Sunette said this, allowing to let our inherent freedom and abundance to express itself. Let go and just allow our wholeness, happiness to see the sun. Can I tell you something, Sugar Pie? Yes, yes, yes. You can feel bad as a broke neck chicken in the meat house. Be just as mad as a belly, belly goat run through a red hot pepper patch. <laughs> you can be as square as a square <laughs> wheel on a car. You can be so feel so bad that you could kill a rock, wreck a train, and dare a piece of kiss rheumatism. Okay. If you understand the clear consciousness of your divine infinite identity, with all the storms that come up, knowing that you are the I that observed the storm in the middle of the storm where there is absolute peace. So you can't love, you can't, see now you done found out that anytime you mention the word love from the center of the storm, you're using the supernatural love of your God self, which does not, it's not, the, the, the super love of God, your true identity is not a frustration. It does not have to have things set in place. It does not have to have something done for it or to it before you can say, I love you. Mm -hmm. When I first started off in this, I used to hear the still voice, but was no longer still, but uh, making sound inside. Small, it's small still voice. It said, down deep inside of the basement of my super subconscious, it would say, Holy Spirit, I love you. I said, where's that coming from? Not knowing that that was your own, your real self, that your own voice. That's right. Yes. When I was ministering to people and I'm in my early 20s. You you said something a mm, minute ago. I don't okay. mean to cut you off, but yeah. you triggered it. I mean, you were talking about the storm. What mm -hmm. we are doing, those of us who are awakened to who we are truly. Hallelujah. We are riding out the storm, yeah. but we're riding in the eye. It's not that we don't have a storm. You, I there, see a big it, eye. It, it, there are storms all around, but mm -hmm. we're riding the storm Lord, in the eye. On your soul. We're in the eye where there's peace. You know what? I love to look my dog and you in the eye because I can look in there and see your essence. Okay. Okay. The essence <laughs> of every one of us is the mirror to our soul. Yeah, it is. What do you think about riding it? We are all riding that eye. Yeah, yeah, we're we riding are. the storm, but yeah. we're riding in the eye. Now, now listen, once in a while we'll get in as being that. See, first of all, you have to be set. It must be cleared up, completely free conscious seeing mm -hmm. that there is a part of us that is actually. Oh, I can't find it. But anyway, what are you looking for? I'm going to make a circle. The actual us 
is that I, the center. Okay. You must see. See that zero I just made there? You can't mm, see it. Yeah. You see it's it's like, yeah, kind of. Sort that's of. the real us. Anything around it, anything around it, you just look at it. Yeah. You don't, because, you, don't have to, you don't have to go there. You don't have to go there. You don't have to try to get its attention. You don't have to work at it. You don't have to read and study. You've done all of that. Your prenuptialisms okay. <laughs> has already been established that if that storm tries to get you out of the center eye, you don't got strong enough in your knowing, mm -hmm. not doing, but knowing. And and to and, not leave that. And in actual eye. storms, yeah. if you're in the eye and you can remain there, but you have to you have to uh move at the same speed as the storm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to stay in the eye. And to stay in that eye is the only place of protection. To get outside of that eye is to be in the storm. But it, we, I realize that what we are doing when we come, when we're awake, fully awake as to who we are, even if uh, we're slipping in and out of that conscious awareness in our in, in falling prey to mm -hmm. being in the mind, we're still in that eye, just not realizing that's that, right. that we're that's in the right. eye. That's why the storm doesn't dis destroy right. us. That's right. Uh, Marie said this, and she's, he, she's going back to what we said about mystics making up words. Mm -hmm. That's why words come up in us and we say, I would never ever thought of that word, mm -hmm. but it's our God self who we really are. And Sinette's repeating what we said. We are riding out the storm, but we're riding in the eye. All right, Miss Sue. Sue says, when I forget who I am and whose I am, I am no longer in the eye of the storm. I am the storm. Listen, yeah, okay. listen, listen to this. Here, okay, Miss Sue, let's, we're going to go at it from another angle. He that abides in me, or I abide in his essence, is truthful. Now watch this. Your mind, the mind self, remembers and forget you don't yes now can i deal with something too? okay go ahead let's let's come home so let's come all the way home all the at way. the end of that statement you said i am the storm before you got to the end of that statement mm -hmm. you could have said i am the eye of the storm yes I am the I. See, when see. when mm -hmm. I forget who I am mm -hmm. and whose I am, I am no longer in the eye of the storm. Or you can say, I am no longer the eye of the storm. Or am I? Am I still the I, but I don't realize I'm the I? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go be the I. Oh, I see. You're the I already. I want you to be able to go in the storm. And still be the eye. And be the eye riding in the storm. Yeah. Whether you want to ride, walk, skip, or, or, or talk, you are. It's settled. Mm -hmm. You don't have to meditate on it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you there's a place you don't have to meditate on it. You don't have to go look at it again. Yeah. You don't have to read something. You see, Jesus, or, or most of the sages, they didn't have to have a piece of paper or something with them or somebody walking beside them to remind to them remind. of, they didn't of have them to, being the eye of the storm. And this isn't about remembering. No, and, it's not And about so that. I want to address this too, Sue. I love you so much, darling. Thank you for this. She says, yes, I should have said I am the eye. That's okay. Well, the, yes, you could have said I am the eye. Mm -hmm. Not should have said. You could have said. Yes, could. Should means you're now that that the mind is now judging you for not remaining as that. Or not saying it like you yes. said it now. So, so we don't want any judgment no. in that that you are because you are that peaceful self. And so you sh it's not that you should have said, it's that you could have said. Miss Sue, you are and your husband are at the center. Don't care what he said, does or do. <laughs> and you agree or disagree, feelings or not. We are each other's eye. 
We are well, the, one of each us, of us essence. One of us the plays, same essence. Sometimes one of us plays the storm. Yes, even no. though Even though oh, we are the I, I, sometimes one of us will play the storm so the other one will know and get fixed in being the I. Sometimes she'll say, your mama, I'll say, your mama back. <laughs> Like I said, some days it's so peaceful it gets boring, so we have to have a little drama. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm about to have one now. You are. Yeah, I'm going to drum up something. Listen, you guys <laughs> we are We love you really too, good. Pastor Norman. He's yes, got to go do. for his service. Hey, look, Pastor Norman, I'm hoping that you read, uh, got those uh, information I gave you uh, about that, that site. Uh, listen to that that, uh, that sage talking about our true identity. Let me, let me tell you something people of God, people of God, you have always been an eternal being. And we're not going to be able to finish this, but I'm going to come back. Well, we got I'm going to come back. Minutes. I'm going to come <clears throat> come back next time, which will be Tuesday night at 7. Well, we're not finished yet. I know, but I'm just telling them. And we're <laughs> going to try to dwell on this subject because Jesus did not walk around trying to clear his conscience. No. He was the clear conscience. And he wasn't walking around trying to remember that he That's was right. the Christ. Now listen to this. Me and Mr. Joe talk about this yesterday. Clearing consciousness means this. I'm going to give you the, 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 the graphic Sawyer translation. I don't care whether it's in the Bible or not, but this is a fact. As long as your, what you call, monkey mind brings up the subject that you or 40, 50 years of age. Mm -hmm. That's just doing its job. As long as the mind or the monkey mind say, I need something, or I'm in great need and distress. Mm -hmm. Some people might say, well, mm -hmm. I am so frustrated. I am so impatient. Listen to it. Remember this. If you're going to do anything, remember, that is not you telling yourself that. And, and and it's not in denial now. You're not right, in denial. Right. And at some point you will come to the place where you will no longer speak that is that that is not true mm -hmm. about yourself. You may not feel peaceful like you saw somebody else. Mm -hmm. You may you may uh come up with an ideal that you something may come up with the idea that I'm not having such a good day. Right. How you doing? Well, I'm all right, I guess. I don't know. Listen to that. Well, yeah. That does not yeah. affect the part of you that does not, that's the part of you that does not have a good day or a bad day. So when, what I hear you saying is when I'm having those kinds of things mm -hmm. taking Something place in things. my body, and in mm -hmm. my mind, in my mm -hmm. psyche, mm -hmm. should I let it talk? Or should I just allow it to be? That's a good one. Most of us let it talk. Okay, I got a good example. Okay. When I went in the hospital to have complete shoulder replacement, rotor cup replacement, mm -hmm. it affected a nerve in my body. And every once in a while, this finger just hurt. And I remember yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, somebody. <laughs> You're demonstrating what I just said. I You're allowing know. the body to speak. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. And uh, it said, <laughs> doggone surgery. Yeah, you, I wish I'd never done it, man. Yeah. So something starts accusing mm -hmm. and judging. It identifies with the expression, the, the dem demonstration. Yes. And it's disturbed. Dis mm. Mm -hmm. There's a part of me that hears this conversation. Now, I don't try not to say. Is it a say, part of you that hears it? Or is but, but it you But when a doctor asks me about it, it, I tell him, yes, doc, I'm having. I don't go in there with denial. I said, yes, this is right. Hurt. But you said there's a part of you that hears it. Yeah. But there is you that hears it. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. You helped me say it the right way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't walk in denial and as foolishness and presumptions. <laughs> Yes, doc, my finger hurting. I sometimes when I go see the doctor, I ask them how they doing. Right, right. How you doing? How right. you doing? I say, how, how you right. doing? Are you still taking your medicine? I ask you, man. Right. Are you still doing that medicine that I told you to take three times a day? He said, wait a minute. You know, doctor, doctor uh, said that this week when we was on there. She said, 
I was supposed to be talking to you about the thing, and we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said you're making this about me. That's what she said. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, Buzz. Buzz says I tell my ego voice to sip to simmer down now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Virginia says just observe and let it pass. That and that's the hardest thing to do is to just observe and pass, let it pass, because when it comes, it comes with such an an attraction. Oh my. God. God, I, I want to say it so mm -hmm, bad. Mm -hmm, I want to mm -hmm. say it. I want to wallow in it. I want to saturate myself with it because it to me at that moment is so real and I mm -hmm. want it's tangible and I want to say it. So it's difficult to just sit back as the mm -hmm. unassociated mm -hmm, witness mm -hmm. and let it pass. But you know what I'm so greatly blessed by is that all of you guys who are coming on this program with us today and you have been for some time mm -hmm. I can cease to exist on this program or that we if it doesn't continue on I'm just making a metaphor I am convinced and I trust the Christ in all of you that everything that we've said to you whether you got it from a course or from any experience wherever, wherever, wherever I have confidence. You talk about the course a lot. You realize I do. And and the reason why I do it because I like it. I really do like it. I mm -hmm. like it. Mm -hmm. And uh and I admire you guys who go into it. I admire the ones who go into it and don't accept it. I admire them too because that's yeah. that's their free will. Exactly. But I tell you, you guys <laughs> have really blessed us to a degree of your presence coming through this electronic equipment. <laughs> that you have finally gotten over into the place of maturity in this. Mm -hmm. And I trust the hand of God down in your soul that you are on the right track and you're on the road. And I can rest now. I said, now that is a work that is really gratified, gratification. And I can only say to God in you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it with great, tremendous, eternal gratitude yeah. for the expression that you guys have done in supporting us with your presence as well as your finances. If no finances, we still support you. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that you are the word of God that keeps itself. There is a word of God that you have made out of that never failed and is always gracious and grateful mm -hmm. for anything that takes place. Some of you guys don't realize, but you are so grateful in God that you'll even tell the devil you're grateful for him because even in the devil, the illusionary mind of hell, you done found out how to turn hell into a vacation or a motel. Okay. So David said, if I make my bed in hell, okay. he's there. Bed, motel, in hell. Okay. You have found out how to walk this thing like a champion yam. Now, Marie says this, uh, can I say, even though I'm in pain and say this pain is not me, mm -hmm. Christ has mm -hmm. redeemed me mm -hmm. from the curse. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. You can. You're free to express it any way you want to. But at the same time, you know what it is. Thank you know you. what's going on. Thank you, Pearl. Yes, please hit the like button and share. And I realize sometimes that our, Thank you so our much. sessions are controversial or maybe cutting edge and we just had a loud motorcycle go past. I thought of my dog uh, rolling over there. <laughs> but <laughs> if you can share it and you know people who would like to hear what we have to say, please share it and hit the like button. That helps us with our algorithm and the, the more that we have of those of you who do that, it gives us uh, the ability to move up the the list so that when people search, they'll find us quicker. So that's a good thing. Thank you, Pearl, for reminding us, sweetheart. You know, you guys out there, you can tell the doctor, anybody that, yes, I have the pain. And you don't have to come back and say, uh, yep, but with the pain, I know that in Christ I am healed. You don't have to say any of that because you have to respect the doctors and their position. They are all physical being, uh, uh, acknowledging that the sense world is more apt to be us than the spiritual. So yes. you don't have to yes. fake anything or go in there trying to change them or anybody. Just leave it be where it is and just tell what it is. But you know something. Mm 
-hmm. I am aware that everybody I see that the spirit eternal Christ is them, but I don't tell them all the time. Yeah. But when I get most of the time when I see people, here's what I do in order to reach the the, uh, the part of them that we know is Christ and everybody I meet. I find some reason to say hello, thank you. It's good to see you. Hope to see you again. Like the couple come up the street this morning. I was sitting in the garage door sewing, and the door was open, and and I said to them, "Good morning." Good afternoon, good evening. If I don't see you no more the rest of the evening, and it's night, good night. <laughs> good morning. You should be in good a parade. Afternoon. He should be in a parade. Oh, they wave he, at me. He's... Cars stop. I wave at them. I just love it. I just love it. And I never thought that when I was a little boy going to this Christmas parade and seeing Santa Claus in his sleigh, and everybody waving at him. I never thought that Did one day that? I would be <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a situation, a young lady that used uh, to be in our church uh, oh. uh, had it fixed so we could go and do a, uh, a program for Christmas yeah, and yeah, yeah. wave at the yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. Sanette, thank you. She said it's like an exciting scene of a movie. Very attractive to see, but it's still an illusion. You know, and Lori, thank you, Lori. She's saying that our sessions would be thank you, sweetheart. And thank you Sinette so says thanks so much. Oh, getting God. an aha moment every time. Love yes, you and your Lord. sessions. Thank you. you bring sweetheart. tears to my eyes of joy. Yeah. So we appreciate you so much. And Buzz, we love you. Oh, love Buzz, you, Buzz, 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 Buzz. <laughs> I hear you, Buzz. Oh, I hear you God. buzzing out there, Buzz. One day I'm gonna invite somebody to come, one of you guys to come in and be an, a guest on mm. the show. I want We want you to. Yeah. Because you're and, really our guest. Because if you've got a camera connected to your computer, you can do that real easily. So I might I might do that. So let would you type in if you've got a camera and you can be a guest on our show? Yes. You don't have to say a whole lot if you don't want to, but it would be great to just let everybody see who you are. There are people who got caught in this storm, this latest storm. Their houses got flooded. The angels of God, which are physical and invisible, are working to make them restore their homes. Mm -hmm. And I'm affirming that they are getting special help from our government and from our state senators. They are helping everybody. And I thank you guys yes. for being the eternal help yes. for everybody in the universe. Let's, and I want to say just right briefly, because I want to make sure that I got the message across about the anti versus the beingness. When we say, and I'm going to use Marie as an example, and Alicia, because they are mentioning something that, that triggered this. Can I say, even though I'm in pain and say this pain is not me, let's, let's, the not me part is the anti. So, I'm, tr I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a way to say I am being or I am being I am being mm -hmm. Take your time. I'm going to have to work with this one. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. Well, in the meantime, you, we, we know where you're headed. You can feel it, can't you? Mm -hmm. You can sense it. My body is being hmm. Okay. Play with it. Mess with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to work on that one. I'm going to have to work on that. I heard the words come to me. It first said, you are in the New York state of mind, but I heard it reverses it. You are in the new self state of mind. Yes. A, 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 a resting for the right thing to say. Maybe it's not for me to find the beingness, mm -hmm. but it's for you to find the beingness. Versus the anti, the pain is not me. What is it you really, really okay? Here it is. Want? Here it is. What if you? I was go around all day long telling everybody that I'm a man. I'm a I'm a male. What would it be like? Or you're saying, saying I am not a woman. Yeah, I am not. You don't a woman. do that. You settled in the dust. In the dust, you have settled. Okay. I am the healed. It's, an, I am, it's most an attitude. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. All right, go ahead. The go pain ahead. is not me versus mm -hmm. I am healing. I am. I am the healing. Or you can just say I am I the am. healer. 
That's right. So change it from the pain is not me to I am whatever you want to see. Put what on what she's saying really, we, we we don't want it to be a burden to you. Yes. To try to say yes. these things. We yes. want you to be relaxed as yes. you can be and say whatever spontaneous need to be said without either feeling on the left or right so, that you have to say anything. So find your own anti-anti. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Robert is there. Hey, Robert Dura. Yeah, he made it, didn't he? Hey, Robert Dura. Miss Phyllis, you made it, didn't you, girl? <laughs> Laura says she'd be willing to come on as a guest. I'm going to work that out. That'll Laura. be good. I'm going to fix it. Oh, I'm yeah. Fix it. I'm Thank jumping you, up Phyllis. Down. Phyllis, Robert, <laughs> Sinet, Laura, <laughs> Buzz <laughs> Jr. Uh, I like that, Buzz. I like yes. Buzz. I yes, like that, Buzz. Yes, yes, yes. I so like that name. All this week, we're going to practice not being anti. Yep, yep. Or yep. Being yeah. just be it, yeah, just be versus anti. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. We'll be looking forward to seeing you again on Tuesday night at seven. Take this time to give. I know that you got we've been talking and everything's been going mm -hmm. really fast here, but take the time mm -hmm. to give before we uh sign off. I want you to, if you can, hit go ahead and and send a good offering to Cornerstone. Those yes, of you we who, do need those need of you who are local cornerstoners, yeah. local cornerstoners, please continue your tithes and offerings. We really appreciate that, and that helps Pastor and I to get yeah. our housing retirement right. allowance because of because of the physical uh situation I had with my back. Some things I have to pay other people to do now, uh, but, but that's true, yeah, personally, yeah, personally, personally, that's and, true, uh, that's true. I have to pay people to well, we got this thing to cut the grass, but I can't do it. Yeah, so we have but, to pay them, please. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. That. That's mm -hmm. gonna be good. Yeah. But I wanted to make sure I mentioned about cornerstone because yeah, okay. I know some mm -hmm. give directly to us, which we really appreciate. But I don't want you to forget to give to cornerstone yeah, as well. Do. Thank okay. you so much, and we love you guys. We'll see.